Public universities around Louisiana are offering more than football and basketball camps for kids this summer. Several are holding camps combining fun activities with academics, helping combat summer learning loss. Southern Ed Desk reporter Sue Lincoln has the story. Is this your ideal image of summer camp? It is part of what some students at LSU's Tiger Challenge Camp are doing this summer. But these third and fourth graders are doing more than just spending a relaxing morning fishing. They're really studying oceanography all day, every day, for a week. I can't even tell you how much they learn within five days' time because they're, it's an all-day program. So they're focusing on, say, the ocean class. They're doing things about water, you know, for eight straight hours. Ellen Doherty is the LSU Tiger Challenge camp director. She says it's not just some place to park the kids while mom and dad go to work. It's not a babysitting, you know, it's not let's watch a movie, let's go play on the playground. During the school year, Doherty, with two master's degrees in education, serves as literacy coordinator for the LSU Lab School. She says the camp courses are specifically designed to provide age-appropriate, intensive instruction on a single subject. Off season, we have teachers come in, um, you know, really great teachers come in and design the curriculum. And then it's kind of, I don't want to say peer edited, but, you know, we look at it and see, is it a great lesson to go with? The week we were there, first and second graders were studying wild animals and their habitats. Look how big this one is! Fifth and sixth graders were learning how to make their own movies. If you did not write down how many seconds your movie is, I wrote it down by lost the paper. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you okay, if you lost the paper or if you didn't write it down, then what can you do? Seventh and eighth graders were exploring microbiology and food safety. Joel Robinson, an eighth grader at Northwestern Middle School in Zachary, says he never realized how many germs there were all around him. I just like knowing, like, oh, there's so much bacteria in my burger, or, or, oh my God, look at all this bacteria around my house. I just, I mean, I'd rather not know. This group of campers were treated to a tour of one of LSU's dining facilities, getting a behind-the-scenes look at how to keep food and the items used to prepare it safe. Camp Director Doherty says she even asked these seventh and eighth graders to help her out. And they were going to test different areas to see where the most germs were. Yes, kind of scary. So I told them to do the doorknob of my refrigerator and um, let me know how disgusting it really is to see how bad I got to clean it, you know. So definitely hardcore academics are going on, but in a very fun and relaxed environment. The academics are important for countering what's known as summer learning loss. That's the knowledge kids lose over the summer break. Dozens of studies going back to 1978 show that in the absence of school, all students score lower on standardized math tests at the end of the summer as compared to their performance on the same tests at the beginning of summer. Students from lower-income families lose an average of three months' worth of reading skills each summer, compared to their middle-class and upper-class peers who usually hold on to their reading abilities. Doherty says that's why the LSU Tiger Challenge Camps are designed to keep participants actively engaged in maintaining their knowledge, even the youngest students. They're writing in their journals. The teacher does an interactive writing activity with them. So they're reading books every single day. So all those components are in there. It's not to make them a better reader or writer, but they become a better reader or writer by engaging in the different activities. We checked with LSU Continuing Education to find out if there was any data on how effective Tiger Challenge camps are in preventing summer learning loss. They said no research has been done so far. But camper Joel Robinson says even though some of what he learned about food bacteria grossed him out, the overall camp experience is keeping his curiosity and his brain turned on and tuned in. Going to this camp, it's like you're learning and then once it's time to go, you're, you just want to learn more. 
So like this just enhances my eagerness to study microbiology. For the Southern Education Desk, I'm Sue Lincoln. Even though he's dealing with uh, those bacteria in the food, Joel, Joel's learning how to make education fun, and yes. so the teachers, huh? Yeah, that's right. It looked really great. The kids looked like they were having a great time. The LSU Tiger Challenge camps continue weekly through July 20th with courses in meteorology, human anatomy, architecture, graphic design, even a Mythbusters type course in physics. The Southern Ed Desk is a partnership among public radio and television stations across the Gulf South. We delve into a wide range of educational issues from kindergarten through 12th grade and higher ed. For more information, log on to southerneddesk.org.